What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. In today's video, I'm going to be reviewing the top five performing ad creative types that you need to be utilizing inside of your Facebook ad account in 2024. We audit upwards of four to five different ad accounts every single week. And unfortunately, we are continuously seeing e-commerce brand owners only testing two to three different variations of ads on a monthly basis, right? And you need to be doing much more than that. And in today's video, I'm going to be breaking down down the five winning creatives, like I said, that you need to be testing inside of your ad account, regardless of the niche that your e-commerce brand is in, in 2024. And I'm going to break these down into variations and sort of like templates that you can save and utilize yourself and test for your brand. So without further ado, let's dive into the video, guys. As always, all of the links are in the description. If you want to work with our agency, have us take over your ads, your email marketing, your conversion optimization, your user generated content, or if you're interested in one on one coaching we have links to our inner circle in the description below so let's dive in guys okay guys so we've broken this down and saved these into five different figma folders where they're going to be segmented in terms of the different ad templates and different ad types and these are going to be the five performing that you need to be testing in 2024 we actually got these from a software called creative os now these proved to be our top performing types of creatives in 2023 and as we lead into 2024 i'm really not foreseeing a lot of these changing because of the principles behind them. So first of all, we're going to take a look at product info pointers, right? I'm going to show you exactly what I'm talking about. So let's zoom in right here. And what these are, are essentially using product images in different ways and using a call out to say, hey, this is X, like a USP or something around, again, the info of the product. And these types of creatives work extremely, extremely well, where it's just these simple call outs that are, you know, a couple of lines. And again, what these are essentially is a great, simple way for you to get your USPs across in a very, very seamless and simple creative. And the reason I don't see this going away anytime soon is because why would this, right? People have a very, very limited attention span as we know in 2023, and this is only going to get shorter in 2024. And so having these pointed info, these product info pointers are very, very useful because again, we can get across, you know, different things about our product, whether it's a unique selling point, whether it's a feature, et cetera, very, very quickly, or maybe perhaps discount people that are looking at our products in a very quick and seamless way. And again, these are called product info pointers, guys, go ahead and pause the video at any time. I'm just skimming through all of these different variations. So you guys can pause, grab some of these as an example and understand how you could use this for your brand or your product. And number two, guys, is actually going to be us versus them comparisons. Now, I'm sure you kind of understand what that means very loosely based off of the name, but this is where you're going to be comparing your product versus a competitor's us versus them in the marketplace. Again, sort of calling out the USPs. So very similar to the product info pointers. But in this point, again, who are we calling out? And what we're calling out is the us versus them, right? So you can use like a us them like a generic again what you can do here is basically show a very easy way instead of just going with your regular product image this is a great way to call out you know an issue in the market or something that you guys are combating specifically with your brand and your product and showcase why you are different and why the consumer should shop with you and these are some quick great examples these types of ads actually work really really well where it's basically like a side-by-side -side static image different color different color on the right right and it's kind of you know very easy with a strong call to action or a strong head headline here, which is going to get people's attention. These work extremely well, right? You can also do this us versus them, whether it's on USPs or whether it's on pricing, these work extremely well. So again, I'm just going to kind of scan through these very quickly. So you guys can sort of understand the point of these and what we're looking for. Again, this is not complex guys. The whole point of me making this video is the fact that, you know, as we're consistently auditing ad accounts, unfortunately, people are not using enough of these types of creatives. And this is what I want you guys to start testing as we lead into 2024 is doing some of these again, product info pointers, us versus them. And as we move on to number three is going to be testimonials slash reviews slash as seen in. And these are sort of like three, you know, it's like a three in one, right? But like these work really, really well, again, as opposed to just utilizing a regular static image, you want to start, you know, combining these testimonials, reviews slash as seen in. And these are just great, again, templates where you can just come in and very easily, that's the whole point of this creative OS software is that you can come in and just rep, change your image, change your text and launch this because we know that these are going to work very, very well, right? This would be like an as seen in by Grazia, like, you know, this is like a, um, a publication of Forbes, 
publication. These are like really, really cool ways to showcase like, hey, we were in Forbes, right? Build social credit. These are nice, beautiful ways to do this. Easy reviews. I love these. This is from, I can't remember the cookware brand, but obviously one of the major cookware brands, as you can see here. This is like sort of like a, basically like a social proof, like a sort of like a comment. This is like another sort of comment, social proof as seen in Forbes right? More social proof and reviews, right? And again, these are very, very easy to replicate, guys. The point is here is just coming up with different and creative ways to showcase these reviews. Now, whether it's using like a product image in the background or, you know, using something like this. So make sure you're, go you're going ahead and testing this. And, and guys, again, this is just number three, right? Testimonials, reviews, and as seen in creatives very very simple number four is going to be product focus shots right so i'm going to show you exactly what i'm talking about again these are just very very product heavy focus so again like similar to the product info pointers but again not using the pointers here like this is the different right product focus so we can use a little bit of like variations of like lists like these like a jot notes and these work really well but generally this is a, a, just a variation that's a little bit different from the product info pointers. And the reason I'm using this as well, right, is again, the whole point that I want you guys to understand from this video is that these are the top five performing creatives that we've been using for our clients over 2023. And like I said, as TVs continuing to do so in 2024. But the thing that you need to understand is why these are performing, right? And again, with people having such a low attention span, we need to be having, again, product focused images not necessarily like these big beautiful photo shoots where the models involved and it's like this big beautiful background again something like this where we want to be able to again in this example if this is like a photo shoot for jewelry which it is actually it's pure vita this is definitely not that good of an ad right because you can't necessarily see like what am i looking at is it a t-shirt that's what they're selling here like their new apparel line um so maybe that's a little bit different but something for you to think about where we want to start testing these very zoomed in product images and with i just made a video about this actually with facebook's new background generation tool that's a, a new ai tool facebook's released this is something that we'll definitely be able to have a lot of variation in in terms of testing moving forward and then lastly guys is sale slash discount slash offer creatives right and so again i just wanted to utilize these because obviously they're going to be some of our top performing but i wanted to give you guys just different examples of how you can get across the fact that to your consumer you're having a sale there's a product release whatever the case may be a discount an offer very simple way to communicate that right and not have them be confused so i'm just going to kind of walk you through these templates as well right very very simple calling out the main offer in huge bold letters oftentimes using sort of like a carousel image in one big image if that makes sense guys so you can see here we'll have like uh, something about the sale here and then three images instead of like someone actually having to physically scroll we're utilizing you know multiple images in one you hear some variations as well just again literally come in screenshot these guys you know have your editing team make these in canva very very simple and just change you know put your brand photos there and change your offer here right very very simple these are great images to start utilizing as far as examples for sales discounts and guys there you have it right those were the top five winning creatives that we were utilizing in 2023 and you need to be testing in 2024 again you need to be making sure that you are testing not only different angles when it comes to your marketing but different types of creatives right us versus them product info pointers so on and so forth and, and again in the description is going to be a link to those templates so please leave a like guys please leave a comment definitely subscribe if you enjoyed this video it really does help with the algorithm make sure that these videos get pushed to the right audience once again guys thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next one if you're interested in working with our agency or if you're interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching all of those links are in the description thanks so much for watching guys see you in the next one